Uh, I'm Owen Burns, and I'm here with... Carter Counts. Okay. People know of your kicking skills. What, what's it been like having a breakout year as a cornerback? It's definitely been a lot of fun. Definitely doing something different. I thought that was something I needed to do, and it's just been a lot of fun playing with my friends. Mm -hmm. Being a state champion in football and soccer, how's your experience in the playoffs going to help you for this year's playoff push? Um, experience in both sports for playoffs definitely teaches you how to face a lot of adversity. So I'm not as worried about tough competition. You just know how to prepare. You have to do what you don't want to do, but you just got to get it done. Okay. Thank you. All right, my name is Adam Albrini, and I'm here with Rashad Smith. All right, thank you, Rashad. So, so Rashad, last game you broke, you actually broke a uh, thousand receiving yards for your career. So, how does it feel breaking such an impressive milestone? You know, uh, first, always I go glory to God first and foremost, and second of all, I mean, just to do something like that. I mean, it's always great to, you know, do that. But I'm, I'm also having a goal in mind of winning state championship as of right now. So, I'm just more worried about that before I worry about stats. All right, cool, cool. All right, so, um, Rashad, so anyone that watches your games, including myself, can tell that you have been using spin moves and that you're very good at them. And they're, they're like basically your signature moves. So, so why do you why do you use spin, spin moves in particular? Um, I feel like they're a very efficient move if you know how to use them the right way. And so if you got to read the momentum, the defense is going, and once you read that, I mean, just use spin move and make sure you get it the other way faster. So I just why I like to use it. All right, cool, cool. Thank you. I'm Grady Murray. I'm here with Andy Bass. How has the offense improved throughout the season, and what makes it so dangerous? Yeah, every week we've been getting better, working on the things that we do wrong, and then focusing on what we do do right, and uh, just kind of, you know, like I said, getting better every week. Um, obviously, this is a big game this week, so uh, been putting in a lot of preparation and time this week. Yeah. As a starting quarterback, how are you preparing to attack the defense this week? Uh, nothing changes too much. You know, we do our scouting every week, uh, try to find the weaknesses in the defense and just exploit those holes. So uh, I think we did a great job of that this week. I uh, had a great day of practice yesterday, so hopefully we can do that again today. Thank you. Thank you. My name is Matthew Couches, and I'm here with Coach Bogart. The last few weeks we haven't been challenged very much by our opponent. How are you guys going into practice knowing this week is one of your toughest games? Yeah, I mean, Plainview, I thought, did some really good things against us, uh, which will help us for this week, getting ready for Sulphur. The running back was really good, uh, which is what Sulphur is, is very good at. Uh, they're probably the best offensive and defensive lines we've seen all year. Uh, they're really, really talented running backs. They, they have three or four different guys that will carry the ball and make plays for them. Uh, but, yeah, it's I mean, this, these next two weeks are for the district championship, so we're in playoff mode already. Uh, for us, we're, we're practicing like it's the first round of the playoffs. Uh, we're preparing like it's the playoffs. and. You know, if we want to get to where we want to go in the end, we, we have to be able to prepare like this, and we have to be able to execute come Friday in a, in a big district title type game. Knowing that these last two games are your biggest games of the season, how does this help you prepare for playoffs? Yeah, it's this is the games we want. Um, I mean, we want to be having tough tests, uh, you know, the last couple weeks um, to get us ready to go. Um, you know, they're, I think Sulphur's ranked three and Marlowe's ranked number five. Um, so, you know, obviously two of the top teams in the state. These are teams that we will face, uh, similar teams to what we'll face in the playoffs. So we got to be ready to go because we, you know, we need to figure out where we are, uh, what we need to work on heading into the playoffs. But, you know, we have a district championship to play for. So um, if we're not ready to play for these games, then uh, we've got a little bit of a problem on our own. And the boys showed yesterday in, in the preparation, probably our best practice we've had so far. So I think they're locked in as we are as well. Dating back to 2013, we have won 71 straight district games. What goes into making that happen? Uh, knock on wood. Uh, no, um, it's it's all about the players. Uh, we've had some unbelievable players. Uh, the continuity of staff uh, helps a lot. You know, we've had the same same pretty much the same exact staff for you know over 10 years now. Um, added some guys, some new guys here and there. Some some guys have moved on, but the core of the staff is the same. Um, but it, it's all about the players. Uh, as I like to say, coaches coaches lose games, players win them, and we've had a lot of really really good players that have helped us uh, in that streak. Thank you. You bet.